You know, I read a headline the other day, Aaron, um, in one of the major publications that you and I both read, and I woke up to the headline that, you know, foreign leaders are afraid of Trump. And I got to be honest, it was somewhat refreshing uh, based on the way things have been over the last several years. So, look, I, I, I know that he's, it's still evolving when you're running for public office like this. You're, you're drinking through a fire hose and you evolve. Uh, he hasn't been in this world. Uh, he's been a business person. And I thought that what he did yesterday was a really good transition uh, in the campaign. And I look forward to him adding details and meat to what he's uh, wanting to do in foreign policy. Now, on, on that front, it sounds like you, you're, you take him very seriously. You're listening to him. You've now, uh, to your point, talked to him for the first time, had a conversation. He reached out to you. Today, two House chairmen <coughs> endorsed Donald Trump. There are nine others now in the House and Senate who have endorsed him. Uh, yeah. He won your primary, Senator, by 15 points. Uh, so if you're looking at the will of your people, they, they have spoken. <coughs> yeah. Will you endorse him? You know, I've looked at Aaron, I feel like I've been given a tremendous privilege being chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee and and I, I have been repulsed by those who try to direct the, the electoral process in a certain direction, say, well, no matter what people do, we're going to cause this to happen at the convention. To me, that's inappropriate. Uh, at the same time, uh, I haven't, I've planned to support our nominee.